Hello, this is Dr. Melody Harris Barrow. I'm with Love, Truth, and Peace talk show. I have a lot to say. I'm so full after the show. We had uh, some technical difficulties, but I have so much more to say. And I'm tuning in with you because when I have a lot to say and when I'm full, I have to express myself. First of all, I want to thank African Americans for all that you have done here in the United States. You made it possible for all foreigners that are here. You worked hard. Your ancestors paid the dues for us to be here in America. Africans from Africa, we have to respect and honor our brothers and sisters here in America. They are still fighting the fight. They are still suffering. They are still dying. They have paved the way for us. I am from Panama. You are from Nigeria. You are from Jamaica. You are from El Salvador. You are from Poland. You are from Russia. You are from around the world. And here you are benefiting from slavery. So today, I want to thank my brothers and my sisters here in America. We don't do that that often. Even African American, you have to remember what your forefathers have gone through. I want to show you something tonight because we tend to forget. We tend to forget while we're living the life we're living, we tend to forget. So I just want to show you some pictures of what our forefathers have gone through, have suffered for us to be here on this land and also of the native of this land, what they have gone through and what they are still going through. We tend to forget. Then I'm going to show you. The people behind me, they were slaves. Look at their faces. Look, take a good look at their faces. But then now, I want to show the world what my forefathers, because they are. You see, when they were taken from Africa and brought here to the United States, they suffered. You know they come in my dreams all the time. Dr. Barrow, what are you doing? Show the people what we have gone through. They have forgotten us. You see, they are not free. They are not free. You know why? Because we are not free. Once we are free, they will be. When we are free, they will be. The mental effect of slavery and colonization after 400 years, 
they are not free. We are still fighting a battle, a battle that we don't understand. You see, you are at war. You are at war, but you don't know that you are. Just because you have a job and a home, it means nothing. This day can come back. This can come back. This can come back. What do you think the coronavirus is? This can come back. Our children, look at those eyes. Look at our children around the world. Just take a good look of the pain. Take a look at my child. working hard and what are we doing we are killing each other we are allowing our oppressors to kill us to control our minds this is today this picture i am showing you right now is today Father and son left Africa on his way to the United States. This is the jungle of Darien. Look at her. This is today. Trans walking, sleeping in the streets, but traveling from Africa to the United States. This is in Darien, the end of the road in Panama. Look at this. My brothers and my sisters, look at this. You see, sometimes we need to see what's happening and we don't. Well, I'm showing you tonight what's happening in the world. Our brothers and sisters can no longer stay in their own countries. They have to come here to the United States for freedom. Look at this. Going through, traveling through the jungle of Panama in Darien. Yes. Do we want to go back to this? Do we? Take a good look at this picture. Good look at it. I want you to. Because we don't seem to get it. We don't get it. We need to fight hard to change our mindset, you see. If we don't change our mindset, we are going to go back into slavery because we are in slavery now. We are in Nigeria. Why do you think Africans are traveling through Asia and Europe, they're trying for better living. Look at this picture. How he has his foot right here on this child. That is foot rest. That's what that is. You see, we need to understand something here this evening. We are always looking for a leader. We are always looking for a leader. But you are the leader. You are the leader. We are all leaders. We cannot have one leader to lead us. Because we are going to be forever in 
in this situation. Africans, when you come to the United States and you become educated, it is time now for us to find a solution to go back home and build our nations. Africa, it is time for the leaders in Africa today to have a platform for your children to come home, not for vacation, not just to look, not just for tourism, but you need to build a platform for your diasporans to come back. How can they come back and you're paying them $100 a month, $200 a month? It's impossible. We need to have a platform in Africa, not only from the for the diasporans that left Africa for better education, but also for the diasporans that was taken from Africa. I am one of those that want to bring businesses to Africa. But we don't know where to turn. We don't know who to contact. We were told, don't trust Nigeria. That's what we were told in the diaspora. Don't trust them. But it's funny how Europeans are in Nigeria doing business. But we were told not to trust you. Remember, you were colonialized. It's evil what was done to Africa. Evil. You were told not to trade in Latin America, only to trade with whom oppressed you. So who, whomever oppressed you, that is who you doing business with. It is time now for us to wake up. You can do business in Latin America. You can do business in the Caribbean. It is time enough that you expand your minds now to do business in the world because your oppressors are doing business in the world it is time now for you to change the curriculum and the school system in africa it is time now when are we going to continue in this sickness? Because we are fighting evil. There's a war between good and evil. This has nothing to do with your color. And let me explain. How dare you define me as black? and you as white. There is no such thing. You created that to separate the world so you can conquer the world. How dare you? How dare you want to control the minds of the people in the world? And that goes for black, that goes for white according to what you defined us as. You see, just because you think that you have the color of white, you think you are superior to me. It is an illusion. You've been duped. You've been bamboozled. It is an illusion. There is no way a mind... An educated mind could even conceive the fact that I am inferior only because, because the color of my skin. There's something have to be wrong with you. It is time for us to rise. 
the natives of this land, it is time for you to rise. The natives in the world, it is time for you to rise. Africa, it is time for you to rise. It is time. It is time now to unveil the illusion of this world. Come on now. What are you doing? It's all about your mindset. They did a good job. But we reach a point now that they didn't do such a good job anymore with our young people. Or your young, or young people are going to deliver this world. So this is why I'm asking you, Africa, it is time to develop an economic empowerment in Africa. It is time for us to stop the tribalism. It is time for us in Latin America, where you are in Ecuador or in Panama, or the, it is time now for you to realize this has nothing to do with the color of your skin. We were used in America as slaves to build the economic engine in the United States and the world. So this now, we have to change. Do you think I want to go back to this, colored and white? Do you think we want to go back to this, make America great again? Do you think I want to go back to this and this? Guess what, my folks? We are still here. Nigerian women are being lured into prostitution. They're being sold. And African women in Africa and the world. Slavery is still happening. It's not going to stop until we stop it. We need to stop caving in into all, what are we, all of what we're being told. I wish and I pray to God that we realize every time our children are brutally murdered and brutally beaten, we at war. The problem is you don't know that you are at war. It is time for us. Look at my brothers. These are all my brothers and sisters from Africa trying to leave. They're dying. Look at this. They're dying. They're trying to leave Africa. And it's not just Africans. It's everyone that needs an opportunity in this world. I am full. All these spirits, my ancestors, they are talking to me and they're telling me and they're asking me, Dr. Barrow, when are you going to free us? If you are not free, we are not free. So let's change our mindset. You see, to change your mindset, it's not easy, but it is one of the most powerful things you can do. Learning how to recognize a negative mindset is the first step. Once you do, you will be empowered. You see, we need to find ourselves to make those changes and start seeking out the positive things in our lives. We need to find the power within us. Doing this can often 
turn your entire life around. But you see, we don't know who we are because we've been trained and we've been conditioned to think that we are inferior. You see, why is changing my mindset so hard? It is hard. You know why? We're talking about 400 years of slavery and beyond. Whatever your mindset may be, it's been subconsciously bred into you for a long time. So this is not easy to do. We have to take charge now of our lives. This game about you're white and you're superior and I am black and I'm inferior, it's over. That's why you're so diligently fighting and killing us. But the more you kill, the more we multiply. You see, when you're evil, you will never conquer. You might have conquered before, but enough is enough. It's hard to change something that's been the base for your thinking for such a long time. It's hard. It's not easy. You see, every second of every day, you're going to have to constantly work to make the change in the way your mind is set. You have to seek positive people around you. You have to challenge your thoughts. You have to know who you are. You are worshiping gods that was presented to you by your oppressors. So when you worship the gods, you are also worship, worshiping them. Religion. Religion. Have us the way we are. They presented you a Jesus that's white. My God. In order for you to worship them. Yes. It is time to unveil the illusion of this world. Africa, if you don't wake up, we're going to go right back to where we started. We all call ourselves king and queens, are we? How is it possible that you are a king and a queen and we are still based on on the colonial education, the colonial government, the colonial politics, colonial everything. I am begging you today. It is time to change our mindset. If we don't change it today, our children are going to be in jeopardy just because you may does not mean anything. Because your children might be going to school in Europe. But guess what? Look at today with the coronavirus. You are quarantined. You can't do anything. You are just as equal now to everyone. What I'm saying to you is enough is enough. Our ancestors. They are calling out. They are saying, we are still in pain. Where's the power? We are the ones that suffered. What are you doing? You're buying Nikes. You became a billboard from, for your oppressors. Gucci the purse, everything. We became their billboard. We became their entertainment. Basketball, football. Then so be it. But take the money and invest your money 
in the right way. Let them pay you, but why are you giving them back your money? It is time now for us to invest. It is time now for us to work together. But you see, you got to change the mindset. See, just because I was born in Panama does not mean my brother from Libya, from Gambia, my sister from Nigeria, Ghana, everywhere in 55, 54 countries. You're my brothers and my sisters. But you don't look at me that way. You're saying I'm Panamanian and you are African. You're not my sister. Yes, I am. I was taken by force. I am no different from who you are. I am no different from who you are. So when you come to the United States, you have to respect your African and American brothers. We have to respect each other because we are one. Your oppressors, our oppressors have divided us for us not to work together. This is why they tell you, you are from Africa. I am this one and that one. I am Latina because I was born in Panama. To hell with being Latina. I am not who you are going to define. I am a woman of African descent and I am proud of it. So those of you that's trying to run away from who you are, you are helping your oppressors to oppress you and your future generation. Who do you think you are? Because you're lighter complexion than I am. You believe because you have a little straight hair. You believe that you're white. Let's be true tonight. Do you think because you're calling yourself a Latina? Huh? And a mulata? Do you know what a mulata is? Mulata is a mule. It derived from the word mule. When you were carrying, our ancestors was carrying the cane, the women. Mule. Mulata. So when you use the word, know where it came from. No, I am a woman of African descent. I know who I am. And I want to teach the world who you are. Ghana, I will be there soon. We are coming to Ghana. We are bringing businesses to Ghana. We are going to have our trade mission in Ghana. Then Nigeria. Then Liberia. Then South Africa, we are coming. Your children are coming to do business with you, not with our oppressors. Yes, I said it. You are funding people. And I am not just talking about black people. My brothers in the Aborigines, my brothers, oh my goodness. What are we doing? Come on, let's unite. It is time now. So prepare yourselves, Africa. It is time to prepare yourself now. We are coming. We are coming. We can't even get alone here. As soon as they see the color of your skin, X, no, don't give them the loan. They might become empowered. That's right. When you talk about the crabs in a barrel, from the time I hit this country, that is what I keep hearing, the crabs in the barrel. Well, let me tell you something. The question is, who put the crabs in the barrel? Who owns the barrel? Why is it the crabs are all coming out? And one is falling and the other one is coming out. You know why? It is not their environment. So don't use me as an example 
of the crabs in the barrel because I am working with my brothers and my sisters. So don't put that in your children's mind from their young. You know, we black folks, we can't work together. But one of the reasons that you might not be able to work together is because of what they have done to your mindset. They have trained you, indoctrinated you not to work with each other. Let me tell you something. When I first came to this country and I had a legal case, I was told, do not get a black lawyer, get a Jew lawyer. <laughs> I know a lot of you can uh, relate to that. Get a Jew lawyer. They're better than the black lawyer. But you see, they all went to the same colleges. Some went to higher colleges, black people. But you know what? It's the system. It has nothing to do that the Jew lawyer is better than the black lawyer. The system is designed to work with the law, white lawyers. You understand? Just like today, you see? So what I'm trying to say to all of you, you see these pictures? I don't want us to go back here. I don't want us to go back here. I don't want my African-American brothers to go back here. I don't want to see this. We have our own children to take care of. This is what is being used today but this is no longer the shackles that is on your hands these are no longer the shackles on your foot this is in the mind my people in the mind this is the mind this is the mind and we have to free ourselves from this. We need to free our minds from this. So what I'm saying to you is let's come together as brothers and sisters. Let us stop all this nonsense about the black and white. You are people of African descent. You see? And they have taught us that the lighter you are, the better you are. You can get into places. That is a bunch of nonsense. They know you are people. Even though you try to speak different, even though you try to be uh, assimilate, even though you are dying, uh, you're bleaching your skin white, trust me, it's not going to work. What we need is, to be ourselves because you see the people behind me they are waiting they are waiting for us to free ourselves in order for them to be free this is Dr. Melody Harris Barrow I love you all and I pray to God that one day we will all come together. We will all come together. It is time to teach our children who they are. And I teach our children to shop and buy all these nonsense and become billboards to invest. Because you invest in with your oppressors in order to destroy you. The time is now. I pray to God you understand what I am saying to you. And all my sisters out there, let's be strong. All the things that you have been through, I'm not telling you to forget it, but you're not a victim. Men that are beaten are women. Stop. You were trained to do that because the master beat and raped us, our ancestors. Stop beating your women. This is all a plan in order for you to continue what they have done to us queens. They don't have to do it anymore. You're helping them do it. You are destroying our minds. You are polluting our minds, my brothers. 
It is time now for us to wake up. You see all these situations that's happening with I'm giving the women custody of the children and not the father. This is a plan. The plan is when a child is not raised by both parents, they're going to have problems. And as you can see, what's happening around us. So women, let me give you a little message. All these games that you are playing with the children's father, when you can see them, when you can't see them, you understand? This is a game that you, you're being played in other words, but you're destroying your child because the more you keep that child away from its father, especially boys, just take a look around us. They're killing each other. They need discipline. They need the rite of passage. We got to, I don't want to go back in time. I want us to go forward. Because people place and people will say, we need to go back. No, I don't want to go back. I want our young people to rise. I want our young people to rise. They are geniuses. But we are not allowing them. We are not allowing them to be creative. We're not allowing them to be what God created them to be powerful. I will be going to Africa soon and educate our brothers and sisters. We need to love each other, but we cannot because we don't love ourselves. We got to get back and let God teach us. Not the God that Europeans brought to us, but the real God. And that's why there's so much chaos in the world because you've been presented a God that's evil and not the God that we know. We know the God that we have is a good God. But you cannot do anything without action. Stop asking for God to give you a car. Stop asking a God to give you everything. No, you have to work for it. This is a God of action. Not a God that you kneel and you pray and you wait. You will see the, 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 the buffet in front of you. And you're still asking God for permission if you can go and eat. Eat, walk. You cannot get it until you get up and walk in action. It is time. It is time. Our ancestors are saying, wake up. They sent me to tell you to wake up. We can sit here and protest in the street. Yes, we get the highlight. But we have more power than that. And the things are changing, as you can see. But we have to go deeper. Economic empowerment. It's time to do that now. It is time to pull our resources together. It is time for us now to open doors for one another. It is time now for us to bring the bridge back together with the natives of the lands, with the African diasporans, with Africa, all of us that are being oppressed in the world, whether you're black, you're white, whatever. It is time now for us to come together because we are all suffering. And when you talk about Black Lives Matter, it is a shame that we have to tell the world that our life matter. But we have to do what we have to do. Thank you. This is Dr. Melida Harris Barra coming to you live with love, truth, and peace. Our ancestors are saying, wake up, my brothers and sisters. We have suffered enough and we are still suffering. We're not free until you are. Thank you. And may God bless you.